Hi everybody, Nick here, also known as The Bearded Housewife, and welcome to another Holidays with the Housewife video. If you don't know what Holidays with the Housewife is, no worries. It is my annual Christmas card making event, 12 full days of card making fun. Today I have a really fun stacked or layered card for you. This is what I'm calling my stacked reindeer card. Isn't that so adorable? I love the little expression on Rudolph's face. It has a spot on the inside for your message and of course comes with an included envelope. Now the way that this card is put together is all of the different pieces for the front cover panel layer on top of each other or stack on top of each other to create that cute little design. So now little pieces for you to worry about with this one. It makes it super easy to make and even the kids could get involved with it. This card can be made on any of the Cricut cutting machines. If you're going to be using the Cricut Joy, I would recommend using a pre-made card base as well as a pre-made envelope, but everything else can be cut out on the Cricut Joy as well. Before we get started, make sure to hit like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any card making fun. And with that, let's get to it. Step 1. Get the free SVG cut file. Okay, here we are at my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. We're going to head to the resource library tab. If you don't have access to my free file library, you can click get access. You'll fill out a form and then be emailed the password. But for now, we're going to go to enter the library. Once you've typed in the password, you're brought to all the free files. At the time of recording this video, I do not have any of the Holidays with the Housewife card files in my file library, but there is a graphic that is popping up right now that tells you the design number for this particular card. Go ahead and click that hyperlink, download the file onto your computer, make sure to unzip the file, and then we can open up Cricut Design Space. Step 2. Upload the design to Cricut Design Space. Now that we have a new project open in Cricut Design Space, we can head to Upload, Upload Image, and Browse. Find where we downloaded the file onto our computer and click Open, and Upload. Highlight the image and click Add to Canvas. Step 3. Convert score lines in any text. Now that the file has been brought into Cricut Design Space, we can go ahead and ungroup the design. We need to do some converting to a couple of the pieces, so scroll down the Layers panel and find the envelope. Highlight the score line, come up to the Operation menu and change that to Score. Highlight the group and Attach. Do the same thing for the card base. Now that we have the score lines converted for the envelope and the card base, we can head up to make it. I'm going to be using the mat for this project. You'll see the different mats in the mat preview. Go ahead and click continue. I'm going to be using medium cardstock for this project. I'll go ahead and get everything cut out and I will see you when it's time to assemble. Step 4. Cut out the design. Step 5. Assemble your card. 
Okay, now that everything's been cut out, it's time to go ahead and start to assemble. So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and stack our reindeer together. You're gonna start from the left here, work all the way to your right, and then the last piece would be the little black outline here. I do have a layering guide within the download to act as a visual aid uh, for when you are assembling yours. But I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video just a little bit while I assemble these together. Okay, now for this last piece, this is totally optional. As you can see, you can still see that it's a cute little reindeer without the black outline. It's just this definitely makes it all come together. Um, so what I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna use my tweezers and then I'm going to add my quick grab glue, which is my art glitter glue. I'm just gonna dot it. Okay, and now I'm just going to try to line up one side. And then work my way up. And there we have our cute little reindeer head. I'm gonna let him completely dry and I'll go ahead and mat and layer the messaging panel. And now I'll go ahead and mat the reindeer. All right, let's take our card base, go ahead and fold and burnish along the score line. I'm going to start with the messaging panel, so I'll open up the card base and attach the messaging panel to the inside. Go ahead and close the card and just add the cute little reindeer to the front. And there is our cute little reindeer. I'm going to set him to the side and go ahead and work on the envelope. The envelope we're just going to fold and burnish along the score lines. Take the inlay panel add glue along the outer edge go ahead and flip that inlay over and place it on top of the cut out on the envelope flap. I'm going to spin that around, bring the side flaps in, and add glue along the bottom of those side flaps. Before I close, I'm going to go ahead and take my card and place it inside the envelope because this is a little bit of a thicker card I just want to ensure that I have enough space for it so I'm bringing the bottom flap up and giving it a press that way I'm creating a little bit of room for that thicker card and now we have our envelope How adorable is this reindeer? He is so cute. And isn't the card super simple to put together? I really think that you could get the kids involved with this one. I could see making a whole like assembly line with the kids and they could individually layer the different pieces together. I really think that that would be fun. If you make this card, I hope that you post it in our Facebook group. We have thousands of friends who love to support and motivate each other and we would love to see your creations. There's a link down below for you to check it out. Until next time, I'm Nick, I'm the Bearded Housewife and I will see you at the next card making video. Bye.